Welcome, and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to complete your 1099 filing each year using the Atrix 1099 preparer and complete 1099 e-file service. When you first open the software, you'll see you have the option of filing the Affordable Care Act 1095s, the W-2, or the 1099. In this case, we're going to select 1099, and then, of course, there are many types of 1099s. In this case, we'll select miscellaneous. Once you've selected the form that you're going to file, click next. You'll select the company that you're going to file for if you've already entered it. If not, you'll click add a new company, enter the company name and the EIN. You have options to upload your data using the 1099 recipient data import from an electronic file, a CSV, which of course is a spreadsheet file, or if you do not have a 1099 MIS data file and you want to enter the data manually, you can do that as well. In this case, we'll select a file. You can see that the file has been selected and we'll click Next. You'll need to map the 1099 data that you have to the 1099 form information screen. If you have not done this yet, you'll go ahead and create a new 1099 data mapping. In this case, I've already done a 1099 before, and I have saved that format so I can select the format that I've already changed. So if you're filing for multiple companies, you only need to do this mapping once. This is the data importer. You'll see in this case, each of the boxes is already linked. You can see that they've turned green and that there's a little link symbol in front of them. That process is quite easy. If you have not linked these in the past, you'll see the headers that you'll see over on the left side. You'll simply select them and drag them into the appropriate box and drop them there. Each box will be filled as you move that data over. Once you've completed the mapping, you simply click Complete Mapping and you'll move forward. Once you've completed that simple mapping process, you'll begin the company setup. We're going to ask you a few questions that we'll need to know in order to complete your filing. The first option you have is to do a test drive. You can do this at any time without fear of accidentally filing something or doing something wrong. It's simply an opportunity for you to use the software and gain some comfort level before you do your actual filing. You can choose to do the first 25 recipients. You can do it with your complete data set, or you can just move forward and begin processing. We're gonna verify your TIN number, make sure we're filing for the correct company. Some companies have more than one data set for an EIN. Uh, multiple departments, multiple locations. If you have more than one data set, you'll need to click, yes, I use more than one 1099 data set. You'll complete each one of those separately and they will be merged at the end of the process. The payer information is important because this is what will appear on the 1099 document that is sent to your recipients. We need to know whether or not you are a third party paid tax preparer or you're filing for your own company. If you are a third party paid taxpayer, you'll have to fill out another quick little form. The IRS wants to know who you are. We'll need to know if you have any recipients who have elected to receive their 1099s electronically. You have the opportunity to obscure social security numbers or EINs if you wish. You can choose from the two methods available here or in fact, not obscure them at all. Once you've completed the company setup, You'll see your data is displayed in what we call the Atrix grid. Uh, it looks like a spreadsheet. It acts like a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet. You'll notice the totals at the top of the columns over here. We put the total at the top because for those of you that have a, a great number of 1099s to complete, you won't have to scroll all the way to the bottom in order to check those totals against your host software numbers. The first thing you'll do is verify the tax identification number, whether that's a social security number or a TIN number. If the recipient's using an FEIN, you'll need to check the box here to make sure we know that. You have the opportunity to verify names and addresses of the recipients just to make sure you have all the correct information. You'll then have the opportunity to verify all of the income boxes for each type of income, rents, royalties, or anything else. This is a complete list of the states that we're filing for. You'll want to make sure we have all of those correct. You'll want to verify that the state income and withholding amounts are correct. Once you've verified the information in our grid, you will choose the level of service you'd like. Uh, the best practice, obviously, is the complete 1099 e-file service. We will print and mail the recipient copies. 
We'll take care of those that have requested electronic only delivery. We'll file your Fed 1099s and 1096. We'll file all applicable state 1099s and any reconciliation forms that are required. We'll also host the 1099s on a secure website for instant access in case of lost documents or additional requests for documents. You can provide them their passwords and access and they can print their own copies. You can choose to purchase a PDF archive. We provide this on a flash drive. It has a PDF of every form that we are filing on your behalf. It's $34.95 plus a little shipping. You can use this uh, in a fire safe, safety deposit box. This is a complete PDF archive for all of the documents that we file on your behalf. This is a list of all of the states that we are filing for. This is a complete task list. This is everything Atrix is doing on your behalf. You see we're filing the 1099 and 1096 for the feds. You'll see each of the state filings that we're doing on your behalf. You'll see the recipient copies that will be printed and mailed. You can print this list and keep it on hand if you'd like, just so you know exactly what Atrix is doing for you. Once you have selected your level of service and reviewed exactly what Atrix is going to do for you, you'll have the opportunity to review each and every form that we are filing on your behalf. In this case, for example, is the Arkansas 1099s that we would file on your behalf. You can review these. You can also choose to print them if you'd like. This is the Arkansas reconciliation form. This is the federal 1096 and so on and so on. You can review each and every form that Atrix is filing on your behalf and you can choose to print them if you desire. Once you've reviewed all of the forms that we're filing on your behalf, you'll then log into the Atrix Secure eFile Center. You'll use the credentials that you created when you enrolled at eFile.atrix.com. The great thing about these credentials, it doesn't matter what form you're filing. If you're filing W-2s, 1099s, ACAs, 940, 941, any state unemployment, wage withholding, or new hire, You'll use the same credentials in the same process. There are just a handful of screens left and you'll have your filing complete. First thing we're gonna do is verify that enrollment information, that we have the right company, that we have your contact information and mailing address. You'll see a summary of the pricing information. It'll tell you the total for filing on your behalf. The PDF archive in this case is purchase and the shipping and handling. You'll be able to choose when you want these items filed. In this case, you can see that they'll be mailed as soon as possible, which is the next business day. The federal copies will be filed as soon as possible. We batch those and send them. The state copies will also be filed as soon as possible. Of course, we'll need a credit card in order to pay for this transaction. We just want to verify the mailing information so we can get that flash drive to you. One last confirmation, again, it gives you the company name, the EIN, the address, the invoice amount, and what we're filing. Once you have submitted your filing to the Atrix Complete eFile Center, you'll receive what's called an AFID number. That's an Atrix Filing Identification Number. And that's important because if you have any questions about your filing or you contact our support department, they're going to need that number to find the specific filing. This number will be emailed to you and provided to you at efile.atrix.com so you don't have to scratch it out on a sticky note and put it on your computer. You do have access to it. That's just how easy it is to complete your 1099 filing using the Atrix Complete 1099 eFile service.